It's the second. Hazel don't want me to challenge the second qualifier. Top 30 to qualify, disregarding those who've already qualified. With 37 starters, it could be that each and every one of you take a qualification. Richard Baker will come forward first to go. The time allowed is 76 round this competition. One round straight against the clock, 76 seconds. Richard Baker's first, Queen. Fifty nine twenty five. The time allowed is seventy six seconds. It's twelve for Richard Baker and Queen. Uh, Rachel Horton brings forward the winner of the first qualifier. The winner also of the one meter ten Grand Prix qualifier. The second qualifier that took place yesterday. Carnival de la Ferme Blanche. They're very quick. Rachel Horton. Twelve falls, fifty-one seventy-six. Total of twelve this time for Rachel Horton. Uh, been a big winner here. Twelve falls this time. Another ride uh, still to come. Samantha Baker next. Downtown Disco. This one qualified in the uh, one meter five Grand Prix. She took fifth in qualification in the opening qualifier for the Hazelden one meter fifteen challenge.
Well, she's already qualified. That's the best we've seen so far. Four faults, 55.04 for Samantha Baker and Downtown Disco. Uh, to Michael Baker then with Vancouver. There's the uh, Placida Sired 14-year-old, uh, Samantha Baker's horse. Vancouver MH. Time as well, 36 of those. A for jumping. Michael's already qualified, of course. Erica Watson's next to go uh, with this one. She took fifth in the National Minor Veteran Riders Championship. One of the uh, six clear rounds through to the jump off in that uh, competition. Erica Watson, imagine blue. Four faults, 73-33, that one for Erica Watson and uh, Imagine Blue.
Leona Jones underway and uh, another that's taken their qualification already in this. Bellatrix. Rattles the last, but that stays 50.64. It's the first clear round. It's a sharp one as well into the lead for the, uh, the already qualified Leonie Jones and Bellatrix. Good round. Leona Urquhart's next. Extreme van der Neerheide. Another good one. Second clear round, 57.84 for Leona Urquhart and Extreme van der Neerheide. Only the second clear round in this uh, A4 competition. It's in to second place. Lucinda Stewart next to go. Con three, this one. Another one uh, for Lucinda that we've seen in the international arena here at Aintree. Good time, 51.86, but it is eight faults for Lucinda Stewart and Con 3. Two clear rounds, two on four. Lucinda into fifth place. Looks like uh, eight, maybe nine awards on offer in this one. All depends on that final number of starters with the top 30 to take their qualification for the Hazel Den Challenge final. That's going to take place tomorrow, of course. Back in action next to go for Ella Jones. They've qualified.
Clear round, steady time, 62.30, but uh, clear it is. Only the third of them, and it goes to third place. Luna Ayres next to go for Miranda Wint, who owns and rides. Sixty-three ninety-six, nothing against that one at all. It's uh, fourth place for Miranda Wint and uh, Luna Air. Again, they've taken their qualification already. Uh, needing a top placing today, though, Laura Lambert took their qualification for the Dodson and Horrell National Amateur and Veteran Championships by taking qualification at Pycombe down in Sussex. Laura Lambert, the rider, Penn Strumley, gone dancing. Oh, that was a late faller, just the four at the final fence. Uh, it's 63.87, four faults for Laura Lambert. Very unfortunate, that one. They all count, though, and it's four. Tagatha Payne's next to go with Ma the Maharani. Qualified already in 14th a couple of days ago. Tagatha Payne.
Another good round from Tag of the Paint. 57-35 there. Sam Sellers has qualified William Utopia and she comes forward once again with that very same horse. Placed in the uh, Amateur Internationals at Hartill at the Bowls with International with this one. Twelve have gone. Fifty point six four leading Leone Jones. Six zero eight zero sixty eighty for Samantha Sellers and William Utopia. It's currently in to fourth place. Six clear rounds in this one now. Six clears in this uh, Hazel Den. Now one meter fifteen second qualifier. It's supported by the team from Hazel Den. Thank you very much for your continued support, Victoria Jenner. Now riding Euromagic. Fifty-eight thirty-four, and a clear round for Victoria Jenner. That one moves in to fourth place. Uh, no Anya Brown, so it is to Rosie Bennett to whom we turn again. She's qualified already. Casanova the ninth. Sixty-three ninety-five. It's a clear round, and it's in 
to seventh. Steady on, Rosie. Are you okay? Okay, good. <laughs> you threw the finish. Everything's fine. As long as you're all right. Katu van der Platello. Uh, this is uh, one for Haley Lewis. Finished well, double clear, and uh, qualified for the 95 centimetre Grand Prix tomorrow. She's qualified for that Hazelden uh, qualifier as well. Haley Lewis. Sixty-five, sixty-five, five nine. It's uh, four for Haley Lewis. Megan Bristow's riding uh, Ashley Lancello once again. Charmaine Hansen's Ashley Lancello by Frilling. This the uh, twelve-year-old gelding. It's clear. It's clear for Megan. 60.33 is their time. And that's into fifth place. Now, if you were with us for the Dodson and Horrell National Amateur and Veteran Championships in 2015, you'd have seen the next combination take a win in the Dodson and Horrell 1m5 Grand Prix. Took a win on that occasion in that Grand Prix. They've got the 1m15 secure in qualification. It's the A4 now, though, for Cheryl Healy and a C.
Good one, 54-21, and that's in to second place. Uh, bottom rail, please, the plat thanks. Keep Barlow trailers happy with the Equitrek uh, jump. Thank you, Charlotte. Uh, Katie Bembo not going. She's had a successful morning. Chooses not to go in this one. Uh, Richard Baker's on course any second with stand aside. He's already qualified and produces another super clear round, 61.73. Nice round there from Richard Baker. Cultus Candy is the next to the course. Another that's already had uh, their qualification in this secure, Natalie Devlin. Fifty-eight thirty-one. It's uh, four for it. Two for Natalie Devlin. Uh, four faults from Natalie Devlin puts her into thirteenth place. Laura McCabe's next. She's in and ready to go. Seventh place in the National Minor Veteran Riders Championship. Uh, couple of days ago and uh, needs qualification today. Laura McCabe, Julia van der Bishop.
66.03 for Laura McCabe. Just the one, just the four, Julia van der Bishop. Claire Miller not coming, nor's uh, Julia Hardy saving for another day. So it is to Samantha Baker once again. Samantha currently in uh, 12th place with Downtown Disco. This is Karim. Sixty-seven, sixty-one uh, produces a clear round there for Samantha Baker and Karim. Charlie Munro once again riding uh, Camiro Z uh, is the next. Double clear in the one meter five Grand Prix first qualifier. Been in good form uh, through the region with this one, Camiro Z. Oh, Charlie, final fence. Uh, four at the last, 66, 67. Foot perfect all the way round until that one just touches the rail. With the numbers in and those that have pre-qualified, it looks like pretty much everybody in this competition is going to take a qualification through uh, to the Hazel Den final. Sophie Curry rides Condor. Double clears results over the last few days. Sophie Curry. And the final fence as well for Sophie Curry. It's a total of eight faults, 58, 69. Pretty good time. 
Uh, we're looking for seven awards in this one with 33 scheduled starters now. We have lost one or two along the way. Seven awards. Leonie Jones leading from Cheryl Healy, Tagatha Payne, Leonie Urquhart, one, two, three, and four. Victoria Jenner in fifth. It's six for Megan Bristow and uh, currently sitting in seventh place. Well, seventh, Samantha Sellers. That's the situation with uh, not too many left to go. And Marillis is the next, though, 25th on course, Hannah Tiley. All good, 52-1-5. All good for Hannah Tiley. That's into second for Amaryllis. Another ride in the international arena for Scottish-based uh, Lucinda Stewart, riding this time Cancun. Clear and quick, 51-2-0. It's uh, second place. Yeah, 51-2-0 does go into second confirmation. <laughs> Hannah Tiley now down to third. Still Leonie Jones out on top, 50.64. Half a dozen left in the Hazel Den at 1 metre 15 challenge, the second qualifier. Kate okay, Pullen's just started. Bentley. Good time of 55.98, but it's four for Kate Pullen and Bentley. Uh, if you've read the owner of a blue convertible, a Volkswagen blue convertible car, November Charlie 60, Echo Kilo Hotel, could you return to that? NC60 EKH, please return to that. You've got a dog that's uh, 
having a little bit of a paddy, I believe. And uh, also, if you've lost a Palomino horse in the stable yard, uh, we've got a loose horse up there. It's been put in stable one. It might be yours, and you might like to reclaim it. Uh, it's in the brickyard in stable 71, Palomino horse. And a devotee's first of five left, a state of independence that's already got qualification. Seventy four four six, there's six to add to that, eighty point four six twelve for jumping, five for time. Kieran, thank you very much for getting in that poll. Have to say a huge thank you to the team from Pulse. They're a great arena crew, they really are, and uh, they do such a good job. Georgina Shrubshaw's not coming forward, so we'll go to Katie Shaw with the very speedy fools business. Already a winner in this arena. Took a win in the uh, opening 1 to 10 Grand Prix qualifier. Fool's business, Katie Shaw. Forty nine thirty one, that's the new leader, Katie Shore and Fool's Business, top spot. Uh, a full second and a half ahead of Leone Jones, Lucinda Stewart down to third, Hannah Tiley fourth, Cheryl Healy and uh, Tag of the Pain rounding out the top six. Two left to go in time, Van den Aktegel is uh, the ride of Olivia Carroll.
58 to 31. That goes into, it's just out of the top seven. In fact, goes into eighth place for Olivia Carroll and in time, Van Den Tagala. There are seven awards in this. Leonie Urquhart uh, sitting in seventh, 57.84. Richard Baker not coming with her, his uh, third and final ride, so it's to Rachel Horton. Already a multiple winner in this arena at the 2016 Dodson and Horrell National Amateur and Veteran Championships. This is Acabado. Fifty-one zero one. It's another sharp round from Rachel Horton, and it's good enough for third place with Acabado. Another top six placing for her third. Another top three, in fact. A win for Katie Shaw with Fool's Business forty-nine thirty-one. Leone Jones fifty point six four, finishing in second with Bellatrix. Uh, in fact, it's Lucinda Stewart that retains her third place, 51-2-0. 51-5-1 for Rachel Horton, fourth. Hannah Tiley, fifth place. Cheryl Healy in sixth. It was the second qualifier for the Hazel Den, the 1 meter 15 challenge. And as ever, it's the tag team of Laura Way and Alex Smith who stepped forward to congratulate uh, today's winner, another win for Katie Shaw and Fool's Business. Close behind in the second place, Leonie Jones, Bellatrix. Lucinda Stewart is third, riding Cancun. Then it's fourth place for Rachel Horton and Acabado. Fifth goes to Hannah Tiley and Amaryllis. It is sixth for Cheryl Healy and Anna C.
And Tagatha Payne, seventh, the Maharani. Laura, Alex, Shelley, thank you very much indeed. Let's go to Lap of Honour. Let's congratulate. It's a second win for Katie Shaw.